part two, I'm doing this eBay. Um, so I'm wanting to sell this book because uh, I want to sell everything. And this is, um, oh shoot. This is, so people are selling this edition for 17 to $21 to 1995. Here's one. Okay, 1991. It should be 91. Someone's selling it for five bucks plus 3.99 shipping. And mine says 1990. And then it says 1991. That's annoying. What am I supposed to do? Index. Down here it says a date of 1991. Um, and this other one is 1990. Oh, 95. There is a newer edition. Shoot. Makes it worth less. Actually, the older ones are selling for more. Alright, so I'm gonna pick this. No, not that one. I'm gonna pick a pre owned. I'll pick this one here. And I'm gonna go down and what I'm looking for is sell one like this. This is right here. Actually, I pushed the button twice. Sell one like this. Alright, so I'll have to include as many pictures as possible. Okay, so we're going to get this. I was going to put it in a chair. I don't think I have ability. <laughs> like, I don't think that's going to work. So I have to put it on the bed. Alright, so I'm going to take some pictures, hold on, camera, I usually don't use, you don't like the access to camera, okay, so here's picture number one, there's a whole book, oh, it's got my shadow in it, it's hard to get rid of when you have overhead lights, so I'm just going to take it anyway, picture one, um, I'm going to do the back, cover with the ISBN and let's see how much I'll do the table of contents. Alright, it's good for now. Since I haven't done this. Alright, so let's say done. On my phone I had to take one picture and list them all. So shoot, this one is Sideways, so I need to rotate it. And how do I crop it? I need to crop it. Oh shoot, that's not working. Um, what is it? Let's see if that works. Crop. Alright, how do I okay, edit picture? Um, let's edit the second one because I have my shadow in it. On my, there's a, there should be a way, people use their iPhone X, and they have a way to, like, brighten it up, so 
the background is really white. Is it done? And let's edit the third one. Let's crop it. So I have my shadow here. Um, so it's basically showing that one of the corners is a little bit turned up. Crop that. Done. And then this one is just, it looks like there's a lot of extra space that doesn't need to be there. So let's stretch that. Same thing for the next one, the other binding. Crop that. And, uh, I don't know what the, um, see what the brightness one was. Oops. Oh, that's horrible. But I shouldn't have touched that. So let's leave that alone. I just want to see, oops. I just want to see what that did. And then, I'm going to leave the other pictures. I have room for four more. I'm going to leave the other pictures. And where's the book at? Saving Factor Ways to, street, to Treat Fevers. My book does not. Does my book say that? Alright, uh, Textbook Education, ISBN. Let me double check. This one's 7, 9, 7, 8, something, something. Maybe the 7. Yep. I'm saying ISBN. Um, description. I'll say just someone else, so they don't do this on a Samsung app. They don't let take their other authors. Um, this looks like it's bold. I'll say condition is good to very good. I don't like I don't like having capitals. Writing on front on early page pencil name and number. See photos for details. I like to say I'll see see how For medical issues. Thanks for your interest. Thanks for your interest. Exclamation point. Contact me. Oops, it's a comma. Contact me with any questions. All right. I'll say, see photos for details, content, and set up. It's not the word I'm not. And style. I'll say style. Oh, I can't think right now. So the one thing I want is when you do your eBay, mobile friendly. Views. Um, so seven day auction. So I gotta change that. I'm gonna do buy it now. No. no, no, no. I'm gonna do. Okay. So this guy's suggesting five sixty. I'm actually going to go up the price on this and say $9.97 and offers um, wait, well, I don't understand so will automatic decline offers that are below 
No. Wait, wait. I'm thinking four hundred five dollars. Six dollars or five dollars? They said five dollars. I might accept five dollars. Oh, it's just six dollars. Cause then that way it's not automatic. You could still make a decision. Actually, I'm gonna turn off that automatic denial right now. So then you sell something, you're like, I sold that for two bucks. Heck, like it was like listed for twenty. You don't know. Um, this is a higher price. Offers on. I don't know. Oh, 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 let's check how this is. Quantity one. Done. Um, medium mail. Oh. So buyer pays three seventeen. Print on location. Oh, we'll do that one this time instead of four ninety nine. Done and one thing that's I should look at category. I can't books, textbooks. There's two things that I'm not seeing that I can see online. The category in my store would be under books and then the mobile friendly or two things. I don't see that, so I'm going to list it. Accepts returns within 60 days. I'm going to change that to 30 since it's a textbook. So save. Make sure you check the handling time. I have bit one business day. Seller pays shipping for return since it's a book. Where's that? I'm gonna say buyer. This is, this is really cheap. If sometimes because it's so expensive, if you if say the book is worth fifteen dollars, some people have it for sale for five or five dollars shipping, and you want it, oh, my kids' feet smell so good. You want it to go up to um, do free shipping plus free returns. Say it is three three dollars, and the book is worth fifteen. Want 15, or say you want at least 10 for it. So you should charge 10 plus 3 plus 3. So you should charge 16 minimum. Um, and if you have best offer, then you bump, you know, it's worth 15. So you're accepting 10 and losing money, but you're not losing money on shipping. So you, you technically should be the minimum of 15 plus 6. So you should be at $21 free shipping if you want to do free shipping, right? So, but if someone else selling it for five dollars for shipping or five dollars ninety nine cents shipping, then you got a competition. Especially if they have a new copy or there's a new edition, then it makes it tricky. But so we could offer you a dollar fifty, and if you already have three dollars shipping, then you can say, well, it's your lucky day, or you can decline and say, get that book off my shelf and sell it for a buck fifty not lose on shipping, but you're going to lose on handling. You're going to lose all the time it took you to post that, the packaging materials, driving to the post office. So even if you sell it for the bare minimum, I bought that book new. I didn't get a truck full of books that were a dollar or a penny a piece. That's something about me. Okay, so that one is done. That was weird. That was the first time I've done the um, revisions and the um, listing. So I have to work in a couple hours, and I'm going to get. I got it out. I'm gonna get the. I'm actually gonna charge my. I'm gonna charge my iPad. Here. Oh, I'm gonna get my charger. Uh, 
if you want to hide them. Um, uh, and these chargers sometimes fall apart. So that charger, and then I have uh, this charger because I just did it on the bug. Now that one is in there. And then the third one. Oh, that one is charger. Oh. Well, then I could have just used that. These two devices have the same card, and then the Apple card is a different charger than that one. And then I need to find, I'll keep my phone charged because it drains battery. Um, I have a box. Alright, hold on. There's more papers, guys. More. I don't know if it's in here. So I had thrown out some of my bard review books and I saved the herbs contraindicated in pregnancy page. Mint, peppermint, wow, really? Chamomile, contraindicated in the first trimester. What the heck? Ma Wong, no thanks. Mormon G, like Mormon G, really? That's freaking ephedra, no way. Alfalfa, plantain, wild cherry. Time. Like that's on food. That's so that's so freaky. I can't really count out Burbank I mean, throughout pregnancy a whole bunch of gobby. Lavender? Are you kidding me? Just like Cocaine. I don't know where they're going to get that cotton. From the cocoa. Throughout pregnancy, Chinese ginseng. Chicken rice, sandalwood. Quartz foot. I'm just reading some. I don't know where the source is. There's a couple of books. Nomation. Wait, is this the same one? Garlic. To be using a caution, garlic and onion. Celery. Is there wide tinctures? Parsley. Red raspberry. That is so crazy. I can't look at that list. That's kind of mad. Let's save it for my medical practice. <laughs> That's why I don't like looking up. Part of the reason that stuff is contraindicated because it hadn't been studied. The red raspberry is used, uh, it's sold in the store as a female for all stages of life. Alright, so I have this roller and I have to do it right handed because when I do this left-handed, it tears the edges off of the buck up. So then I just took a picture and now I'm trying to wrap it. <clears throat> Alright, so I'll have this book. I'm going to check one more time, make sure there's no hair, make sure there's no hidden writing, because you can always go back and fix it. Looks like there's one page, so I'll add that. There's a couple of pages of pencil. Just saw one page with the title was circled. And I don't want to do this too many times. It's going to bend the book. Okay. I saw my old page. Right yeah, this is your thing because I saw the word spelled with extra letters. So then, you don't have to do this. You're going to stick it in a bag. Let's switch hands. Left-handed. So that's why if you do it right-handed, you start here, but you still have to be careful of the edge. But then you're going over the edge instead of coming at the edge aggressively. Like I found out the hard way, trying to do everything, and then I was just turning the book like backwards or upside down or something to keep from 
messing up. So you really want to be careful on the corners. And if you, like me, first start selling books, um, putting them in a container, or sorry, a envelope, and trying to decide what the weight was going to be based on the type of envelope. So, so any type of envelope, usually, especially the padded, I messed up something badly at first. So it feels wasteful, but this corner doesn't get, it has a little bit, it, I feel like it's wasteful. Go around one more time. So you want to be careful of hair, and dust, and lint, and food. So that's why I keep that in this crate. And then there are some poly bags. Right, okay, here's an envelope um, for my work. And I recycled it. I don't always necessarily recommend recycling because you want something to be pretty new. So if you had something that was expensive or narrow or thin or fragile, you might put cardboard in there. That's going to make it weigh a lot more. So if you have, I'm going to store this in here. Actually, I don't think I have. If you have an envelope and you didn't fold the edges, you still have to be careful. The bubbles are exposed. And if you're trying to see what envelope it's going to fit in, so you can weigh it, it's like, it's hard to guess if it's going to fit in there. Like right now, I still don't even know. You don't want to shove it because it'll still mess up the corners. So I'm getting, I'm having issues, so I'm not going to force it. I already set the postage. You might want to go through and weigh everything. So with this item, I want to put it into a... I'm going to wrap it in paper so that it will... Because it's plastic sticking to plastic at this point. Um, so I have some other envelopes for bigger books. Um, I have some boxes for books, for textbooks. Oh! So... The best would probably be to have random boxes that have it. I've shipped books. Someone bought a bunch of books and flashcards. I've shipped those um, before in one box. And I changed for media mail because insurance would have been more to add to that. And I did priority. It was in town too. I did I used a different type of box. But USPS priority box said fifty dollars of insurance. I added like twenty more dollars of insurance to make it seventy. They only let you go to the price of the item. So I don't know if you spent fifteen bucks on shipping and the item cost seventy. If you only get seventy dollars and then you have to give them a refund, you're out. You're shipping. That sounds really stupid. Um, I personally think they should include the price of shipping. And there's more bubble wrap. You can wrap. It in bubble wrap and put it in a regular poly envelope. I think the best would be like how Amazon people do it, where they get those cardboard where they stick the book in, and there's flats here, and then you, they peel it off and stick that together. That would probably be the most secure. Getting thrown around the mail, um, corrugated cardboard. But I don't order those because it's expensive, so that's why I want to. Bubble wrap isn't necessary to keep it from getting bent and getting the corners shoved into stuff. So, most likely this will go in a bigger envelope. I don't think I can put it in there. Oh, if you put paper on it, it'll be better to fit into a sticky envelope. But that paper is going to weigh even more than bubble wrap. So, you might just take bubble wrap, but then again, you're paying for this and wrap the book up and stick it in a i got some eBay envelopes I've shown you. Uh, those, that would probably be the best. And then send it me an email. Like I said, unless you want to insure it. Um, and going back to, let's go on to eBay. Um, I'm going to put this back on the shelf. I have another book here that's in an envelope that got messed up. Oh, 
a couple books. There's another book up here that's in a, it's in a plastic bag. Oh, shoot. My scrapbook just fell. I have... Here, I clean this up. Oh, yeah, this book's for sale. The envelope got messed up. Because the, when you start shoving stuff in... I paid for this. One at a time. And now it's... Myself, obviously. I don't want to put it back. Um, that was sticky. Again, this one looks like it's a little bigger than the other one. Scrapbook fell down. I have to do this whole shelf. This this thing has been for sale for years. Flash in there. This thing is sitting underneath my heater. Um, I'm going to put it up for auction. The problem with this is this has got a lifetime warranty, but it's been sitting under the heater for at least two, if not three winters. I'm going to move it. The problem with this is the shipping. If this gets crushed in shipment, you're going to have issues. You can stick a piece of cardboard, fold a piece of cardboard in like a triangle and stick it in there and then wrap it. I've shipped some before. I think they got more than one. I think they got three packs and then wrap it in that. And then you're going to end up having it in a box like this. And then you're going to be paying 12 something for that. So that one, the shipping is going to be $12. Even though it's, because it, it's going to be so heavy that it's not going to be first class. I mean, you could stick it in a poly envelope and cross your fingers, but let's go to eBay. Online. I'm gonna watch Nelson. Um, I'm gonna watch Nelson and then Sophia. I only have. I gotta leave in a couple hours. I'm gonna go to do me some good. To, um, <clears throat> to get out and work <laughs> today. You know, I worked yesterday. I, I was like, I don't know what's wrong with me yesterday. Was, we're supposed to only say hi, hi, hi to people. After they legalized marijuana here, it got really hard to say hi, hi, hi. And then what happened was, um, I'm so far away. What happened was, we, um, hold on, what happened here? <clears throat> I gotta get my package ready to ship tomorrow. I almost feel like just slipping it in the box. The whole post office probably locked. I'm going to plan on staying in line tomorrow, take my daughter to work, or take my daughter to school, stay in line tomorrow. She might actually have a ride and then go to my interview, so I'm going to get my clothes finished, wash. So we're going to go to eBay, and then we're going to go to sell, and password in. So what did I say I was going to check? So make sure it's media mail, because you, if you're using someone else, is template, like not template, but you're saying sell similar. You don't know what they necessarily, what the computer or the algorithm or the other person put. And if you, if you say media or first class and you end up sending it priority, then they'll get it in time. If you say, if you say priority and you meant media or first class, you still have to send it. I personally send it priority because I purchased it in priority because um, it's back up. the people, not just the people, if they complain, but the algorithm will see that tracking that it's not shipped in a timely manner or it's not being delivered in a tiny ma timely manner. Um, unfortunately, some people will charge priority, like the Goodwill sometimes frequently will charge a priority rate and they'll send it first class. Oh, that really irks me. So we're going to go to selling. And I'm gonna, I don't know if you can add it a lot. I'm gonna go down to those, to two of these that I just, I think I only posted one thing. Did I post one or two? I can't remember. No, I fixed two and so I'm gonna go down and say edit. So I already had four views of that book. I have zero views of this paper. 
I'm gonna go to, so yeah, I didn't put my category, so I'm gonna say store category, my personal store. I have a category called book, books, and I'm gonna say, um, gently use some signs of shelf storage. <clears throat> So subjects, I'm going to put health education, no, health education, no, no, no. I'm going to put health education, and then I'm going to do educational level, it could be for the general public, also professional, I'm going to type textbook, I didn't read the country of manufacturing. Alright, so then I'm going to click mobile friendly checker. And it needs to be fixed, so I can do it on iPad, I can do it on my other app. To fix it, when you fix it, you still have to scroll down and press save, which I found to be like a ton of them and they didn't save any of them. Check briefly for typos. I have a bunch of spaces. I'm going to check out the spaces before I'm going to be looking at this stuff right there. Um, oops. There's something. I don't know why it's double space. I'm going to say um, book has book contains info. Elements and um, adjusted, adjusted for condition. I was going to put repertory, I just afraid it. So, fixed price, um, good to. Something's wrong here. Shoot, I hate when it happens. This happened to me before. So it says renew listings every 30 days. So uh, it's not letting me change that. Automatically accept offers of at least $7. Oh shoot, guys, it's not letting me. I don't want good tell cancels. Okay, so that was a bad idea. Sometimes when you do something, Based on what I just did, I didn't. So I, I do not want it. Good until sold, and it's not letting me change it. That sucks. I don't know really, because that is gonna give it the same number every time, and then it goes lower in the algorithm. Um, we can make it a promoted listing, 3.2, so that charged me 31 cents. Select a campaign, clearance gift idea, campaign one, first item books and shirts, I'm just going to add it to that, I don't know. I am really upset that it's not on any change. So sometimes that happens where you also can't change the publication year. That happened to me doing so similar and then it, you basically end up like, hold on. There's a way you can make it into a template. Alright, so I'm going to say update listing. I don't like that good until cancelled. That is like the worst way to sell anything. Um, I've never done that before. So I'm, I'm not sure what to do. 
I'm going to save it as a template. And I'm going to say home you And I'm going to go down. Days, fixed price. I'm going to save. I'm going to go to the top. And I'm going to save this as a template. How do I get that to publish? So what you don't want to do, you're getting in trouble. Where'd it go? Oh, I mean, there it is. Alright, so I'm gonna go. This is so bad. I'm gonna go to selling active, and I'm gonna remove that item. If I get that other job, I'm not going to be able to be at home doing eBay or billing or appointments and all this stuff, and I'm really freaked out. I'm going to, I'm going to, I hate to remove stuff. They get mad. But it's not one of me, so I'm going to say, um, end item. The insertion fees will not be refunded when you end your good tell cancel listing, but you will not be charged for another 30 days. Oh, I hope they didn't charge me extra. Alright, so I'm gonna go. So that looks bad, I think. I'm going to go to templates. I don't know where they are. Listings, drafts, listing templates. I said that right there, but I just looked weird. I'm going to say listing templates. And I'm going to do Homeo. And oops, I didn't mean to edit it. And I'm going to do. Scroll down and say save. List will template. And then check. Handling time, you want to double check because if you accidentally put same day handling, you got to go and fix it. Fixed price 30 day. I'm going to say I had a seller boost and then I'm going to list it. So if you use your phone and you accidentally relist the same item twice, it'll, they will stop you. If you use it, my I have a PC and you accidentally list it or it glitches, it will send you a pretty nasty email and a warning that you have a duplicate item. So we're going to go to growth, listing improvements, and I have one item. So I'm going to say, um, I'm going to click on it and revise. So I have I'm going to put $5 in, oh shoot, wait, 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 wait. I want to cancel, I want to actually see the item, because you can't just sell something that's going to cost, but you could, so I'm going to say, oh, I do have free shipping on this, 
Um, I'm gonna go to revise item. Um, what I'm gonna do is say four ninety nine a dollar a dollar seventy six. Do mobile friendly whenever you do this. Make double check. You never know which few ones you might miss. So I'm gonna say four ninety nine. Best offer. I'm gonna say I'll say four fifty. I was gonna take off best offer, but I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna say one dollar one seventy six shipping. So I'm gonna make it two seventy six. So go to flat. And then where is the cost? I can't find it. Here it is. Let's say two seventy six. And this again, this item you don't want. I think it's foamy, but you don't want the package to be damaged. And I'm gonna boost the item. And I'm gonna go down. 16 cent extra and I'm going to update this thing. <sighs> Sorry, I'm pull. And then once I'm done for now, and I'll come back to um, their recommendations. It's the beta recommendations. The overview is pretty bad. It's, it is really bad. When I got the pizza job, I got it just fell apart my life. <laughs> my life. Um, forty nine seventy four in sales for thirty one days above standard. That's not horrible, but in the last thirty one days my sales went up fifty five point one percent. Shipping and waiting feedback. I got to do feedback compared to the same time last year. I'm ten percent down. Ten point seven. The market's nine point seven up. So people are doing a lot better than I am. Delivered three days earlier in spices. I got many things. I got three, I got four reviews and three, what you call it? So it's important to do, for 12 months, I only have $527. So for a year or two, I had, so you need 100 transactions and $1,000 sales to get the flat art top right seller status. And you got to do free shipping, free returns, et cetera, so it's one day, handling or less. So that's why I'm charging price. I had everything on free shipping. Alright. Here's what I'm gonna do. Um let's see what I'm gonna do. I have this bank account that I had money in a really long time ago and Someone suggested that I get rid of all these papers. Um, okay, so I have bank account statements sent to my old house. $28 on July 31st, 2006. So, is there anything over 10 years old? I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but I have, this is a little stack. I have stacks and stacks and stacks. Um, they shut the bank account down because they sent something and I didn't get it. I changed my address with them, but I don't think they changed it. So I gave them an address change and they didn't note it, so they sent something to the old address and it got returned. So when it got returned, they started taking money out of my account. Every month there was only 28 bucks. This one looks like $69. I took out 40 I don't know if that looks like I took out 40 in 2005. So, what I'm going to do is watch Nelson um, Sullivan 5 9th Avenue project. And then I'm going to shred and recycle these papers. Um, I'm sure that in this whole messy place that there's got to be, if, if God wants me to have something to prove the bank account number or whatever. Because this credit union changed my name. The National City. No, oh, that was a different one. So I had the National City one that changed to PNC. 
So I have another stack. So um, that doesn't exist for me, and this doesn't exist for me. And the teacher's credit union, I shut down. These are all in Michigan. So um, I'm sure that there's some box or some bag somewhere. I just, anything extra in my house I have to get rid of. Because I, being an adult for the first time, living in isolation of other adults, or you know, I took classes and how to get a job, like stuff I didn't need. I already had a job, but I tried to take these classes in the DHS, and people were like literally ignorant. They didn't know how to budget for their groceries, for their food stamps, and they didn't know how to drive. Not that that's a problem, but they couldn't figure out how to get to the store that was two blocks away. Like they needed rides. So when I saw in, in these housing programs, people were so drugged out their whole lives that they just get pregnant, have kids, and get welfare, but they were on drugs and alcohol, and they didn't learn how to mature. But it's basically you get microwave food and cereal and put your kid on a school bus and stuff. But that, I mean, that's survival mode. That right there is the basic. Cause, like, if you can do that, you're going to live. Like, that, I'm not saying it's the wrong thing, but I... I got, I guess it's more of like a poverty mentality or a ignorant mentality, being stuck at a level of poverty and low socioeconomic status. I'm not developing my, I'm not stretching myself to be one of those people that is more mature and wise and kind of do my level what I need to do, especially being a business owner. I need to bop it up several notches. Um, so, so paper clutter and any kind of clutter is I don't even want this. But I'm sure I can find that somewhere. Um, I used to type all the notes that I didn't want to get rid of it. I'm like, I don't even ever look at that. I try to memorize it. I'm sure I can get online right now and say, can I use, can somebody use, my patient use caramel while pregnant? Like, <laughs> could I use, could they use coca? <laughs> so I'm going to go and I'm going to do this on a third video because I can't believe it took that long to use eBay.